Hey guys, this is Ersi here and welcome back to the Minecraft vehicle tutorial series. Today I'm here, we're going to be making a KV-1 tank. So let's get started. Alright, so first of all, um, get yourself to where, wherever you're going to go and place one block, right? Um, black wall. So, then, oh my god, what are they doing? I don't know, but hopefully it's not too big. Alright, so, um, yeah, so one black wall right here, then jump a block and place one right here, and then do the same step until you have six wheels like this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Alright, in between, place yourself purple slabs, and the RCS texture pack, they sort of look like, I don't know, metal? Yeah, I guess black metal. Um, place them like this, right? At the and place this and then here place this just like an upside down uh, stair oh no it's coming again guys more I forget what the things are called um, so yeah just like the other tanks we're gonna make this in like three steps first it's like the uh, thingies oh wow I literally just forgot what it's called well, you know, uh, the caterpillars, I think they're called. Yeah. Then, here we have uh, the body of the tank we're going to be making, the mature. Just making it amazing. I'm also going to do a tutorial on this one, and it's pretty much only the chart that really changes. Alright, so, come back here and place buttons on all of the black walls, like this. And now, what you want to do is. Place another black wall right here, place one, two, three stone slabs, and then place two other black walls, and just delete the slabs for now. And then, yeah, here, um, just make this one big like this, because these tracks are pretty huge. Um, and yeah, all you want to do is just do the same thing, but on this side. And you also want to extend these like this. And then, in between these now you're going to place some stone slabs Oops. like this now bring the stone slabs all the way here same thing right here something right here well actually you just want to fill any like everything in right here just fill it in if you have world edit it's easy just do fill commands but if you don't well you can see that you know, just the struggle of pulling it in. Even though I have world it, I'm just lazy to use it. Alright, so purple slab right here in between these again. And I'll just spam the bugs on uh, the bugs right here. Purple slot uh, stairs. Slabs is one thing, stairs is one thing. I have to remember that now. Um, purple stairs right here. And yeah, there you go, guys. Your tracks are almost done. Now, what you want to do is get yourself like a slab right here, a slab right here, jump this one, uh, actually a slab right here, and a slab right in between these two, right there. Now, get yourself some anvils, place one right here, one right here, and then one right here. Now, get yourself another brick stair, place it right here, a uh, stone brick stair, place it right here like this and then another brick stair again place it down like this and actually at the front um, you sort of need like just a block for now so just so you can place this another uh, stone brick stair I mean right there okay so that's on one side then we have to do the exact same thing on this side so this right there um, yeah so purple slab and though Purple slab, stair, uh, and then anvil, and then purple slab, and then stone break stair, and then anvil, and then purple slab, and at the end, just another break stair right there. Okay, so this is like when you're almost done right now. Actually, you have to delete these two right here. Place yourself like just any block right here, any block right here. Then you want to get 
two stone brick stairs like this facing this way. And this is how it should look like from up and from the side. This is what the track should be looking like. No, yeah. Alright guys, I think we're done with the tracks for now. Now moving on to the armor of the tank itself. Alright guys, so for the actual armor, so place one trap door like this, one trap door like this. Uh, by the way, this is the front of the tank and this is the back. Wherever you have like uh, the stairs like this, it's the back and here's the front. Alright, so um, yeah, the acacia wood fence gates and an iron trap door. Then you need yourself uh, to place stone bricks right here, stone bricks right here. Sort of nether brick stairs right here like this. Then, let me actually look, uh, yeah. Then one right here. Um, put up some blocks just so you can place in these two. And then place them in, it's like little um, fences right there. Next you want to place some iron trap doors on top of here. And yeah, if you got this far, you're good. Um, next, you need um, an inner side pretty much. Fill in everything right here. Right here like this. Perfect. Actually, just go all the way until here. Alright, so right here, what you actually want to make is like here. Um, you have to extend this by one. I should have looked before I said it was like that. And then place two little thingies right here, open them up. I'll actually not close them up. Uh, iron trap door, inner side. Then you actually want a closed trap door right here, so um, you're gonna need yourself a lever. Close, oh, right. Um, so I'm gonna have to do something, which is stop flag minus C, just so there's no stop flag on the server. Open it up and then stop flag to close it off. And you see now it actually closed. But now because we have stop flag, we can break that. Um, right, so just place a little block right there. Right here, you want to place it right here, and yeah, that's it. Now take oh, actually here too. Now take Dark Prismarine and just fill in these sides with it. It should look like this. Alright. If your tank is looking at this, you're doing it correctly. Now, right here you want to take up one bit of underside. Um, take your Keisha Wood Fence Gates again. Place it right here. Then you want yourself uh, nether brick stair, uh, I mean nether brick slab, place it right here. Then you want you start, uh, yourself a stair and just placing it right there. Alright. So now what you actually want is just to place stairs like this right here in the front and then just twist them to look like this. And actually place them at the back, here place some stone slabs, and then bring them over again like this. Perfect. Uh, these ones here, just twist them like this. And then place in like, I don't know, engine blocks I guess. Uh, engine blocks, cool. Or I guess they do look like engines, but they're not engine blocks. Come on, you see. Um, yeah, so now um, I forgot the detail blocks. We'll come back and put them in. Right, so right here, I just want to fill this in like this. Just it doesn't really matter much, so just fill it in. Uh, right here, place another big stair uh, like this way, and then here, just fill it in just like that. So now you see you have like your little um, like your little hole where the person's like sitting or whatever. I should just delete that block to make it look like you know, like the person could actually be there. Um, 
So yeah, next we're gonna need stone brick slabs. Just cover it this wait, actually not there. Uh cover everything up right here with uh these. Including here just a bit at the front. Um same thing right here. Oh my god, they're making huge pixel art. Alright, um, yeah, then place yourself some trap doors right here. There are these trap doors here. And yeah, guys, this is almost done. Here you need like a little uh, hatch for the, you know, the gunner and the pilot, I think, because he's like sitting right here. Oh, we forgot one slab right here. Guys, I think we're pretty much done. No, all you need to do is just delete these three right here. Same thing on this side where you can just, uh, let me just climb my tree. You can just come in with like little boxes, I don't know. And just like put them in right here. Just like randomly, whatever. Just little boxes. And here at the top, maybe like something. And don't put one here. Uh, actually you could, whatever. Alright, next, uh, like, detail thing is... So, the T-34 uh, is screwed up there. Um, yeah, actually, just place in, like, these parts here, because, you know, this type of, like, really heavy tank would need, like, a big engine, so, yeah, I guess you would have many, like, ventilation ports. Um, yeah, here is where, like, the, uh, not, yeah, I guess where the, like, air comes out. So, yeah, uh, you put those there. And then something else was, like, here, there's, like, something, too. I'm not sure what it is, because it's not, like, I'm a tank, uh, master or, like, specialist, but I just, like, you know, know stuff about them a bit. Alright, so, yeah, um... We're just missing one more detail right here. So, yeah, if you have stop lag on, like, if, it, if you're on a server or something, just place, like, a button here, delete the block behind you, and just place this there again. But if you don't, well, I guess you could use, like, world edit or something to place it. But yeah, guys. So, that's what's, like, right here. Um, let me just make sure we're not forgetting something. Uh, no. It looks like I'm, everything is alright. Okay guys, so now we're gonna do the turret. Alright guys, so for the KV-1's turret, um, you wanna, so, place two blocks right here, of like any kind. Place two blocks right here, like this. Then, right here you want nether big stairs. Then right under them, you want to place, um, let me try to place it like this, slabs, like this, right here in the middle you want to place yourself a block, here you want to place some stairs like this, facing downwards, uh, sort of like making it, I don't know, sort of like a circle-ish shape, I guess, I don't know, um, then here, place yourself some stone slabs. And then here, some nether brick stairs. And then right here in the middle, place yourself one, two, three, and four uh, stone slabs again. And yeah, now uh, for the top bit right here, place two stairs facing this way, and then twist them like this. And then here, just fill this in with the um, inner side. Here at the back, just shift click on the trap door, and then you have this. It's like a little back machine gun. It's pretty useful if you have like something else trying to break your engine. Uh, what else? Yeah, so here you have like your little commander's hatch, or you know, whatever. Um, here you have like a little like antenna, but like, because you know, you sort of gotta tell like. The other tanks or whatever we want. Sure, place like a little button. I guess it's like a little sight or something. Oh my god. 
Wow. Um, and yeah, guys, we're almost done. Now just place yourself two trap doors like this. Open them up. Same right here. Oh, um, apparently it's harder placing blocks than I thought. And actually, oh poop, I forgot the signs. And this. So yeah, place two buttons right here. And then place these two iron trap doors and then, you know, it, it should be really easy just to come in here and power them, I guess. Shouldn't be too hard, just place yourself a uh, redstone torch powering a little redstone bit that should in theory power these without stop lag so uh yeah uh, so all you need is just to close those two trap doors right there uh here you just want to place two signs then here same thing and yeah guys um we're only missing two more things Right here, a mossy cobblestone and a grey carpet. So place this one right here. Then you want to go one, two, three, then four, and I think five, like that. And there you have it, guys. The tank is now like almost complete. I just gotta do the stop like thing. And yeah, so let me just do it right now. So actually, I already have it written. So click here. And then let me just replace the redstone bit. And then stop lag again. And there you go, guys. Now we have completed a KV1 tank. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, oh, poop. I forgot one block. Boom. You sort of need it. But there you go. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, see you on the next one. Also, uh, the KV2. Um, actually, before you go, it's almost the same thing, but the turret's like completely different, so I'll just make a new video with it. Alright, thanks for watching, and yeah guys, see you on the next one.